Hey guys, welcome to my very first post here on YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to be working on Sketchbook Pro. And my first tutorial is going to be called Many Faces due to the fact that I'm going to be teaching you guys how I go about using one sketch, rough sketch actually, uh, to create multiple faces real quick. So for those that have very little time, uh, let's get started. So what I do is I start off my, uh, my palette here with the color selection with my pencil. So the pencil that I typically use is blue or red, depending on you know the mood that I'm in or whatever. So um, what I like to do is start doing really rough uh, block-ins of the shapes that I'm going to use, uh, proportions, um, you know, just to kind of get a feel of what I want the character to look like, the expression, maybe even like uh, the type of species he is, right? So in this instance, I'm going to draw more of a humanoid character, and uh, I'm going to do a really rough sketch, nothing too crazy. Um, using the basic human uh, bone structure um, and then from there creating multiple different characters using that uh, that foundation. Um, at this point here when I do a rough sketch I try not to spend too much time on it. Uh, keep in mind that my sketches are very very loose but I try to stay confined within the fundamentals of a human facial anatomy. So at this point here when I start doing my sketches I, uh, I simply just start getting very detailed towards the end of my sketch when I start finalizing what I'm looking for. Um, when, I, when I'm when i doodling or when I'm doing really rough, I end up uh, exploring a little more. So in this instance now, I'm exploring right now. So as, I, as I'm getting closer to the final stage of what I want the character to look like, um, I start getting a little bit darker and darker in my shading. And even in my line work, it gets a little bit heavier and so on. So now that I got a pretty good idea of what I want the character to look in the proportions of his body or his, his, actually his facial features is going to be, uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to try to lower the opacity at this point and then I'm going to start uh, picking my uh, a different color shade of my pencil. Uh, in this instance, I'm going to use black, right? I typically, it's, it's a standard, right? So let's just use black. And notice that I'm not using uh, any type of sketch motion with my lines. I don't want to sketch here. Um, the idea here is to use the sketch you've already developed underneath to create the character that you want using the foundation. So from here, I'm going to use the uh, the mirror tool here on on on, uh, on Sketchbook Pro, which is the the icon right above the screen here in the blue box. And what that does, it splits the screen in half. And when you draw on one side, it'll mirror it on the other side. So again, this is for quick concept only. Um, when you want to do something really quick and, and you just you know don't have the time to do much of anything else, this is a great tool to use. Uh, it's great for animators, great for uh, when you're going to use facial expressions and you want to do it over multiple of the same character multiple times. This is a great tool to use. Um, I use it on occasions, you know, when I want to get cool ideas for new characters. I use it pretty much for that, just for exploration. And then, you know, I start getting into the dark line art. So um, at this point now, if you notice that my line weight is starting to be a lot more really uh, strong and, and, and precise. The reason being is because I try not to spend too much time sketching at this point now because this is the point where I'm actually making my final decisions on what the character should look like. Uh, I've already sketched it out, so I don't really need to explore any further. My exploration was already done in my blue stage, my blue line stage. So from here, I'm gonna use the same blue sketch underneath, and I'm gonna try to do another character. And again, using the same uh, proportions as the previous one. In this case, I'm gonna start uh, trying to uh, explore a little bit more, using, again, the same proportions, using the same uh, skeletal foundation of the blue line underneath to create new characters. And from here, you can kind of explore all kinds of different ways. You can, you can make them fat, skinny. You can make them angry or happy, sad. You can do so many different expressions at this point because you've already established your proportions of the character. Um, from here, uh, I'm going to just start... I'm not worried too much of the line art because, again, this is going to go straight into Photoshop and I'm going to start coloring it anyway. So at this point, I just really want a good facial expression, I really want a cool character look and so at this point I'm just going to try to figure out what is a cool character that I want to try out. So again, I'm, I'm, I'm spending about maybe, I don't know, the whole entire uh, video shot was probably about 15 minutes of my time here and this was just with the sketch already underneath it and the, bla and the black line. So from here I'm just exploring at this point, again throwing my, my line around. Um, if you notice that my lines are very, very straightforward, there's no sketching involved. So my lines are very straight to the point. They're very loose. They're very thrown across. And the reason for that is because I, I always tend to like uh, clean up my lines already at this stage 
and that's due to the fact that I sketch a lot. So a lot of this is muscle memory. So if you guys aren't getting the same results that I'm getting here, it's probably because you need to sketch a little more. And that's only because when I sketch a lot, like my mind picks up a lot of the details that I've sketched in the past. So a lot of these lines are lines that I've already expressed before, but I'm just exploring them with other characters. So it's important to sketch a lot uh, if you want to get this kind of accomplishment and this quickly. Um, best results are when you when you do sketch a lot more and you spend a lot more time sketching and stuff. So. Uh, this time around, um, I'm going to do these four characters, about four of them. So roughly about 15 minutes of time for all of these characters. But again, I basically I base them loosely on the sketch underneath. So uh, that's just a quick sketch idea. I uh, hope you guys like this video. I'm going to post a lot more of these. Hope you guys like it. Uh, subscribe below. Help me build my channel up. I really appreciate you guys all your support. And please follow me on Instagram. And uh, and yeah, and we'll, we'll definitely be putting more of these videos out. Thank you guys so much and really appreciate it.